Hey guys, today we are going to show you a barbell that you might never be able to get. Okay, what do we have here? We have, nope, not the Rogue Ohio Bar, but what is it? The Rogue Ohio Power Bar. But this isn't just any Rogue Ohio Power Bar, okay? Oh, what's that? Dual neural, what, what? Dual neural marks? Okay, what about the center? Where's the center neural? What? What? Okay. Oh, this is a little weird. Oh, let's see the neural field. That's an Ohio power bar right there. That's an Ohio bar. They have the same neural marks. Okay, so what is this, guys? I'm gonna stop teasing you. This is, on the right, you have the Rogue Ohio power bar essentially grab bar edition, okay? I got this bar during COVID from the grab bag. And for those of you who don't know, these are barbells that Rogue essentially just put up for sale for pretty cheap. They're listed, I believe, around 100 bucks plus uh, a steep shipping price. But they were a steal. So <laughs> why do I have two bars here? Well, on the left, this is one of our Rogue Ohio bars, okay, tried and true. We have three of them, stainless steel with chrome sleeves right here. And again, on the left, we have this one-off Ohio power bar. And as you can see right there, no end caps. This one actually had, um, I believe it was a Rogue Bar 2.0 end cap, and I just flipped it the other way. So, you know, keep it, I'd rather have it nice and clean than, you know, essentially what it isn't. Now, as you can see, these are the sleeves for the 20 kg Ohio Power Bar. Yet, it has the dual neural marks, no center neural, but it has Ohio Power Bar knurling. Okay, now, when I got this bar, I was expecting an Ohio Power Bar. When I opened it up, I was thrilled, personally, and some of you aren't gonna like this, um, if you don't like it, comment, man. I want to hear what you think. But I really am not a fan of the center neural. So when I saw this bar, I made the decision on the spot that I will never give up this bar. Okay, maybe maybe if someone offers me a good enough price, we'll see. But as of now, because right now no one's offering anything, I don't plan on giving up this bar. <laughs> now, I think this is something special. This is... My, what, what I'm guessing is that someone, you know, some new employee over COVID who is getting trained, and this is what Basement Brandon has mentioned, Brandon Campbell, and I think it's a correct assumption in that this barbell was probably something that someone was training on and learning how to work the system and work at Rogue and, and so on. And I'm guessing that, you know, they just made a mistake and by accidentally they, maybe they put it through the wrong machine and, gave it the rogue Ohio bar neural marks and knurling pattern and so on with the deep power bar knurling. <laughs> okay, now I've asked around a while ago and I wanted to see if this was uh, raw coat or you know raw steel no coating or a stainless steel bar. To tell you the truth, I'm not sure. I think it could be stainless steel Okay, I've had this bar for a little over a year now with no visible signs of rust. And man, I like it. Okay, so this is basically a, you know, I don't know, I don't know. I think they're running around mid 500s maybe bar. You could check, check the link below. We'll probably have the accurate price of the proper and proper calibrated, proper IPF spec Ohio Power Bar. But this one for me is special, okay? I'm super glad and I've been super excited that I've had the opportunity to own something from Rogue that, you know, isn't really on the market. <laughs> so for me personally, this is kind of priceless, okay? Usually I go through a few different steps on what I think about equipment in regards to usability, quality, value, who should buy it, and so on. 
Hey, if Rogue wants to go about making something like this, I could see a potential market. I mean, sometimes it's nice to have a bar that will eat up your hands, you know, will give you that feedback, um, but maybe just not that center neural. And that's something that I really do like about this bar is not having the center neural. And I just think having the dual neural marks is a plus, okay? Maybe you're probably not gonna be doing Olympic weightlifting with a bar this aggressive, but it's just unique. Like you really, from what I've seen, you don't see this on the market. Um, so yeah, comment below. I know a few of you have received grab back barbells and some of you have actually received some potentially like this. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. And any questions, comment below. And if you like it, like it. And for more, subscribe. Thanks guys.